Hi, I'm Tecumseh Fitch, and welcome to Bioacoustics 101. In this series of mini lectures, we're going to explain the basic concepts of voice science and bioacoustics in terms that anybody can understand. And in this mini lecture, I'm going to explain to you about formant frequencies. So everybody knows that, there, that the voice can be characterized by frequencies, but you might not realize that there's several different kinds of frequencies that are important in understanding the voice. The most obvious one is called pitch. And to show you what pitch is, I'll do a high pitch, ah, and a low pitch, ah. Okay? Pitch is pretty obvious, and it corresponds to what's called fundamental frequency. Um, and you can vary the fundamental frequency quite a lot. So I'll do a high, high to low sweep. Now everything I did there is caused by vibrations of my vocal cords within my larynx. Okay, so inside this organ right here, there's little bits of tissue that are vibrating. And the faster they vibrate, the higher the pitch. The second kind of frequency that's very important in characterizing the voice is called the formant frequency. And those are less obvious. So the easiest way to understand what a formant is is to realize that when I vary the vowels when I speak, what I'm doing is changing the formant frequencies. So if I go, all I've done is change the formant frequencies. The fundamental frequency, the pitch, is staying constant. But the formant frequencies are changing. So here it is again. And here's varying the pitch. Okay. So as you can tell, these two sets of variables, formant frequencies on the one hand and fundamental frequency on the other, are completely independent. I can vary one without varying the other. Or, of course, I can vary them both simultaneously. So if I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm varying my formants and my fundamental frequency. 